Hi, my name is Carl Wanaselia. I'm Kate Ledger. And our house is made of junk. We did a lot of experimenting with salvage materials. The upstairs is sided with uh, the roofs of 104 cars that I cut out of the roofs in the junkyard with the Sawzall. You can see the, the different tones of silvers and grays, even some golds in there. So the counter is Coast Live Oak. It's a uh, native California oak. Every single piece of wood in this house has some sort of story. The decking here and the siding here and, and the railings are all made of salvaged redwood that we got from various sources. This used to be siding on another house. I would spend a lot of time when I was at the junkyard selecting which color roof was going to work with the other colors I was picking. It was almost like doing a painting, but I had the, the junkyard was my palette, so. The glass awnings on the front and rear of the house are made with salvaged Dodge Caravan side windows, which also came from the junkyard. It needs very little maintenance, maybe you know, occasional washing. I don't know if I need to wax my house in a couple of years. Uh, the materials themselves are quite cheap. The roofs were about $10 each at the junkyard, and so it's about $1,400 worth of siding on the roof upstairs. This is our architecture studio in our backyard and it's made out of a recycled shipping container. We built it for about half the cost of what a wood frame building would have cost. We're a net importer of goods from overseas, and so we have a huge surplus of, of used shipping containers. And so we bought this initially for uh, $1,800. I think more and more people are thinking about the bigger picture. It doesn't cost more to build green at all and it can be a lot more pleasant. It's just a matter of time before more and more people are using recycled materials in their houses.